All right, folks, get those lists put together for back-to-school shopping or, oh, I don't know, maybe something you want, even if you don't have kids, exactly. right? Exactly, yeah, right. because um, sales up to 100 bucks, tax-free. That's tax free this weekend, but not everything. And a couple right. of ground rules here, and we go through this every year, but I think it's worth repeating. We're talking about eight bucks on every hundred dollars spent in terms of the savings. So let's kind of put this in perspective here for folks. This isn't an opportunity to blow the budget. We want to make sure right. that we're still oh Steve, no come on, on. that we're still that spending <laughs> responsibly. Well, it's true. I, I love it at the grocery store when they say you saved. Yeah, but I spent. <laughs> All right, so let's get down to it. So exactly right, pretty much that $100 price point is going to be key. A lot of stores, extended hours, and extra sales to get under that $100 okay. price point, which is right. good. So let's kind of get to it in terms of what's tax-free, what's not. Things like backpacks, messenger bags, both are going to be tax-free during the weekend. But things like uh, that are more business-oriented, yeah. like a briefcase or a handbag, would not be. Oh. Yeah. See, I was a nerd, and I actually carried a briefcase. <laughs> I think your problems are bigger than whether or not you pay eight bucks at every hundred dollars you spent. All right, but this right here might look like yeah, a handbag, it like, it but like a it's a lunchbox, oh, so, so this actually lunchbox. is tax-free, really? even though it's got the cool lunchbox. style to it. All right, okay. two pairs of jeans, denim jeans. Now remember the rule we talked about: which one is tax-free? How much are those? Things? There you go. This one's eighty bucks. <laughs> this one is one hundred and fifty-nine dollars. So the one that's over a hundred dollars, you would pay sales tax on. Okay. The sub hundred dollar price point, you would not. Hmm. Talking about shoes and things like that, any sort of athletic shoes, uh, you know, um, even dress shoes, all going to be tax free. But things that are more sports specific, like a cleat, for example, right? Golf would, shoes, right, cleats. Exactly. Yeah. You would pay taxes on okay. uh, baby clothes. Things that people don't really think about here. You know, we think, okay, back to school, great. But also items like baby clothes. Diapers, for example, they might also have to go back to daycare. <laughs> yeah, um, you know things like diapers and baby clothes, okay. all tax-free. Nice. When we're talking about accessories, it gets a little bit tricky here. Okay, so things like a necklace goes around the neck, eh. but you pay tax on it. A scarf goes around the neck. You don't pay tax on it because it's a piece of clothing. Now, so see, he's getting good at this. He pays attention each year. I would say on the neckties, I'm going to say not no, tax free. No. no, they are. So oh, they, they are tax free. Really? So even though it's an accessory, it is still considered a piece of clothing for a man. So the okay. guys get a break. For so the, the guys get a break. Well, that's, you get the scarf. You get, you get the, the scarf. I want you the do, necklace. You do not get the necklace, the watch, the glasses, the the bracelet, the the hair bows. Okay. None of that stuff. Talking about leather goods, okay? Yeah. Um, we've got a belt and a wallet. Which one belt, gets it? Which yes. one? Yes. Yep. Belt, yes, and you will not pay sales tax. The leather goods uh, on the wallet, you would pay sales tax. But here's something interesting, and they're very popular here, right? So while the belt is tax free, if you were to just buy a belt buckle, you would pay sales tax on it. Who comes up with these <laughs> the state comptroller? Yeah, does yeah, it all, right? So. Uh, talking about um, you know things hats. like hats and stuff. Yes, you're gonna you're gonna not pay sales tax on them during the course of the weekend. Oh. Uh, again, real quick shout out by the way, Gallery of Dallas. Their newest tenant, Belk, um, has provided us with all of our stuff this morning here. So if you haven't had a chance to get up there and check out the new store, really a beautiful space up there. Uh, you know, and also we want to remind you, try and stick within the budget uh, when you're going. Really have a list prepared ahead of time so that you know exactly what it is that you need. And one thing we didn't show you on the table this morning uh, school supplies things like binders and notebooks and pens and paper all of them will be exempt from sales tax but things like uh, textbooks and um, computers and hardware and that right. kind of stuff not. will not yeah okay. so you still have to pay sales tax on those <sighs> it's nice to have a little break it's nice you know and, yeah. and again it'll be it'll be a busy shopping weekend for folks right. yeah. it's nice to have a little bit of a kickback here and know. a lot of the stores will be, will be having sales, sales. anyway so yeah. you'll say that and in extended hours right. yeah okay. and, and more yeah thank you you got it and of course a link by the way to our on our website myfoxdfw.com the state comptroller has the really comprehensive list for you terrific got it